Well, hello friends, and I'm so glad that you've joined us today for Time with the Young at Heart. Today I'd like to begin by reading to you a piece of scripture taken from the Gospel of John. And I'm reading John 16, verses 13 through 15. But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into the truth. The Spirit will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and the Spirit will tell you what is yet to come. He will glorify me, because it is from me that he will receive what he will make known to you. And all that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will receive from me what he will make known to you. This passage talks about the Spirit, and it talks about Jesus, because it's Jesus that is speaking these words, and it talks about God the Father. And so today is Trinity Sunday, where we talk about the Trinity. And the Trinity is a big mystery to some people. So I thought we would talk a little bit about it today. Do you like mysteries? Do you like mystery stories? When I was a little girl, I used to love mystery stories. My very favorite mystery stories were from Nancy Drew. I just loved Nancy Drew, and I read every Nancy Drew book I can. And even as an adult, I still like mystery stories. When I want to take some time to relax, I like to curl up on the couch with a good mystery novel. So recently, I was at a garage set where they had lots and lots of books. And I was looking for a mystery book to take home so that I could relax. And as I was looking through all of the books, I came across one that was really meant for children. And I really, really liked it. I started looking at it and I put it down for a little while. And then a little girl came up and she started looking at it and she wanted it. So I didn't say I wanted it first. I let her have it because I thought she would really enjoy it. So I don't have the book with me, but I do have a copy of the title. And it is called, What Really Happened to Humpty? And it is a book that investigates what happened to Humpty Dumpty who fell off a wall? And it was written by, apparently, Humpty Dumpty's cousin. Was it his cousin? Yes, it was his cousin. His cousin Joe, Joe Dumpty. And Joe was investigating to find out if he was pushed off the wall or if he fell off the wall. And if he was pushed, who did it? Was it Little Miss Muffet or Goldilocks or Mother Hubbard? I thought it was an awesome, awesome book. Now, I didn't read the whole book, so if you find it and you read it, you can tell me what the mystery really was. Today, we're gonna to learn about a different kind of mystery, and I talked a little bit about it at the beginning of our time together called the Trinity, Trinity Sunday. Now, do you know what Trinity means? Well, the first thing I want to ask you is how many gods are there? Right, there's only one, one God. The Bible says there is one God and Father of all. But God is made up of three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that's what we call the Trinity. Perhaps you've noticed when I've done some baptisms and I sprinkle water on the person's head, whether it's a baby or an adult, and I say, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, when you hear these words, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we're talking about the Trinity. And as simple as it sounds, it is kind of difficult to understand. It's a mystery, something that, <coughs> excuse me, we can think about and wonder about. People have used many, many different ways to try and help explain what the Trinity is. And since we started off today talking about Humpty Dumpty, I thought that I would use an egg to try and describe the Trinity. As you probably know, an egg is made up of three parts. The first part is the shell. Let me see. I'll take the shell off. 
So this is the shell of the egg. Now, the next part that you see is the egg white. Do you see that? And now I'm going to cut this egg in half. And what do you see when I cut it in half? Right, you see the yellow yolk. The egg has three parts, the shell, the white, and the yolk. But it's only one egg. In the same way, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are three persons, but one God. Mystery solved. Let us pray. God, we thank you for being all-powerful and all-knowing and for loving us. We thank you for the things in life that we don't completely understand and for giving us ways of trying to explain them, but most of all, for the faith to believe in them even when they are a mystery. We pray these things in the Trinity, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, friends, I picked a song for you about the Holy Trinity, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed picking it out for you. I hope you have a wonderful week. God bless, and I can't wait to speak to you again soon. Bye now.